Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we'll be working with the edit text attribute in Android. So in the previous videos we worked with the text view and the button. Now in this video I'll show you how we can work with the edit text attribute. You can write any text you want inside the edit text and this time when you click on the button the text in the text view will change to whatever you've typed inside the edit text component. So without wasting much of a time, let's start with the program. So guys, if you go in your activity main.xml and if you see in the palette tab, inside the palette tab, if you see this text fields over here, you will see a list of edit text been mentioned over here. So first what I'll do is I'll just take the plain text edit text and I'll just drag it on the screen. So now if you see over here, the edit text is basically aligning itself relative to the button component since we are inside the relative layer. Now the next thing that I'll do is, since this is not looking good, I'll stretch the edit text along the borders. I've just stretched it along the blue borders. Now the edit text is basically occupying the entire width of the screen. Next what I'll do is, I'll go inside the text and I'll just check some of the attribute inside the edit text. So you can see the layout width is wrap content, height is wrap content, I'm fine with that. Again the android colon id is edit text. If you see very carefully, there is no Android colon text as you have inside the button and the text view because since this is edit text window and inside the edit text window, you cannot have any solid text. But what you can have inside an edit text is a hint section. So what I'll do is I'll go down and I'll type in Android colon hint and I'll set it equal to your text here. So now if you go in the design tab, you will see that it is basically showing me a hint that is your text here. So the user will understand that you need to type some text over here. Now once I'm done with this, I'll go to the main java and I'll type down the edit text data type over here. So I'll type down edit text. Okay and as you can see as I've typed, as I've pressed enter, the edit text has directly imported the edit text window here and I'll put a space and I'll type down et over here. Okay. And I'll put a semicolon. Now, after declaring the data type on the next line over here, I'll type down et equal to edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text. So basically, on this line, what I'm doing is I'm linking the edit text variable in Java with the edit text id in XML. Okay, what I can also say is I'm basically storing the edit text id inside the et variable because as you guys know variables are nothing like boxes in which we store values now guys the next thing that i'll do is inside this change quote method which belongs to our button i will declare one more data type by the name of string so i'll type down string st equal to et so i've typed down string st so the variable for my string is st and i've set it equal to et dot get text to string in short i'm storing whatever text is written inside edit text inside the string variable so first i'll store the text inside the string variable and next i'll display it in the set text method okay but before we do that let me explain you this line in detail so over here we have two methods get text and to string the get text method takes the value from the edit text and after the value is taken from the edit text the to string method converts that value into to string so just in case if you type abcd inside the et the get text method will take that value and the to string method will convert that value inside a string because we are storing the value inside the string variable st and once we get that value the next thing that i'll do is i will just delete this line over here and i'll just put an st over here okay so over here first what is happening is as soon as the user clicks on the button the et dot get text to string first takes the value from the edit text it converts it into a string and then it stores the value inside the string variable because since this is a string data type it will only accept value which is in the form of a string so we have to make sure that we convert the value inside a string and once the value is stored inside the string variable next we have to display that value inside the text view so to display that value what i've done over here is i have just typed down quote.setText equal to the st variable now please make sure guys you don't put double quotes around the st because then that will make st as a separate string this is only the st variable 
So once I finish writing the code, next I'll click on the play button and I'll check the output in my emulator. Now I'll just click on this device which says Nexus 5 because this was a device I've made in the previous video. I'll click OK and now in few minutes it will basically show me the output on my emulator over here. So guys as you can see I have the edit text window over here. So over here I'll type down a small quote so it says Okay, so I've written over here hard work beats talent when talent stops working hard and now this time when I click on the button as you can see the text inside the text view have changed. So whatever you write over here is gets displayed inside the text view. Now I can add one more line inside this code which will basically clear up whatever is written inside the edit text. So I'll just minimize this text. I'll minimize this component over here and just below my code.set text I'll write down et dot set text and I'll put double quotes over here. So double quotes basically means empty string. So let's click on the play button and check the output. Okay, I'll choose emulator. I'll click OK. Okay, so this time what I'll do. So guys, this time as you can see, I'm also getting a physical keyboard over here. Because of that, you can't see the text view on top. So I'll still type down hard work beats talent. So if I click on change the above quote, you can see the edit text window has been cleared and if I drop this down, you can see over here, the text view has changed to hard work beats talent. So guys, that's it from this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button at the bottom. And if you want to learn Android from scratch, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you guys.